We're going to take a look now at the Vintage Console EQ, which can be found in the Audio Effects EQ, Vintage EQ Collection, Vintage Console EQ. This EQ is actually modelled on a Neve 1073, which is a very famous British EQ, which a lot of people use on vocals and drums. It's really up to you what you put it on, but it has this sweet tone, especially in the high frequencies. It's great at boosting and cutting. I would recommend using an EQ like this after a digital EQ that you've used to clean up, so you're using this one to add a little bit of flavour. We've got four bands here. We've got a low cut, a low shelf, a bell parameter for the middle frequencies, and then a high shelf here. We also have a drive which can increase distortion and bring out some of the harmonics, which is nice if you're looking for a bit of extra, extra flavour. And we also have the output model, so we can change the sound of the output to either of the vintage EQs, but we're going to leave it on smooth console EQ because that's what we're using right now. So best to stick to the character and the sound. Let's have a listen to this vocal, and then we're going to go ahead and EQ it from left to right, so from low to high frequencies. You're my baby, my pretty baby Wanna hold you, wanna love you and protect you So I've already done a little bit of EQing, a little bit of compression on here. I'm going to start by cutting out the low frequency, so I've got to turn it on first. We'll find a, a place where it feels like it's cutting out enough but not thinning it out. You're my baby, my pretty baby Wanna hold you, wanna love you and protect you You're my baby, my pretty baby Wanna hold you, wanna love you and protect you That sounds pretty good to me. Now I feel like I've lost a little something so I'm going to add it back with the low gain. Just increase this a little bit to about 150 and then I'm just going to boost again I'm going to go way too high just to hear the effect and then pull back you're my baby my pretty baby wanna hold you wanna love you and protect you you're my baby my pretty baby wanna hold you wanna love you and protect you I really like that. Now I'm slightly torn between what to do with the mid gain. Do I take out a little bit around 400 where it feels a bit boomy or do I boost at around 48 where it could do with some brightness? I'm going to try both, see which one complements the vocal better and then decide on one or the other. So we'll start with the cut first around 400. You're my baby, my pretty baby Wanna hold you, wanna love you and protect you That definitely cleans up the vocal a bit but it does take something out so I wonder if boosting it might be better at 4.8 You're my baby, my pretty baby Wanna hold you, wanna love you and protect you you're my baby, my pretty baby Wanna hold you, wanna love you and protect you Yeah, I think I prefer the boost. The cut was thinning it out a little bit too much. Let's try adding some high frequencies now. This should brighten up the sound, give it a more polished feel. We can assume that the high gain is probably around 10 kilohertz, somewhere around there. So let's add that. You're my baby, my pretty baby Wanna hold you, wanna love you and protect you You're my baby, my pretty baby Wanna hold you, wanna love you and protect you Okay, let's try without the EQ and then with you're my baby, my pretty baby Wanna hold you, wanna love you and protect you You're my baby, my pretty baby Wanna hold you, wanna love you and protect you
Oh, that's definitely night and day. Sounds much better. It's got a real musical feel to it, so the boosts don't feel unnatural. Of course, we've made those boosts and those cuts at the right places, so the vocal feels a little bit more present, a little bit more in your face. Try using the vintage console EQ on vocals. That's personally where I would put it, but obviously there are no rules, so that's just a guideline. <laughs> 